Welcome back. Problem 2.94. So the statement is knowing that allowable stress is 16 KSI. Determine the maximum allowable value of centric axial load. So in given data, it is given that maximum allowable stress that is 16 KSI. Clear. All the data is given. This is a plate where there is a hole at, at B and hole small hole at A. The diameter of this hole is 1 over 2 inch while the diameter of this hole B is 1, 1 over 2 inch means 1.5 inch. The thickness of this plate is half inch and the width is 3 inch. So what we have to find is we have to find the centric axial load P. So let's start with the solution. So as you know that uh, we will start, we have two holes that is hole A and hole B. Clear? So we will start with the hole A. So at hole A, we will write at hole A, we will first take hole A. So this is hole A, you can see its diameter is half inch. So radius will be equal to 1 over 2 divided by which is equal to 1 by 4 inch clear also in uh, in my previous uh, uh, problem 2.93 I have discussed that this width is equal to capital D clear D is equal to here you can see this is equal to 3 inch clear 3 inch while this small D which is equal to this portion plus this portion so how we can get this d this is d by 2 and this is d by 2 clear and their sum is equal to d and this d can be obtained if we subtract uh, this small hole a from this capital d so this d is equal to capital d minus whole diameter and this whole diameter you can see this is 1 over 2 inch so D is given as 3 inch. So 3 minus 0 0.5 is equal to 2.5 inch. Clear? Now what will be the net area for hole A? So we will write that A net is equal to, you can see, I will show you, this is the net area of about hole A. So this small D into this thickness D. Because in tension we have to remove this hole. Clear? So net area will be equal to small d into t. Now what is small d? Small d is 2.5 inch. So 2.5 inch into thickness which is 0 0.5 inch. Clear? So 0 0.5. So when you multiply it you will get the net area. And this net area is equal to 1.25 square inch. Now we have net area, you know that stress is equal to load or force per unit area and that is net. We do not know this stress, we do not know this P. So we need uh, another thing. Also we know that K which is stress concentration factor that is equal to sigma max over sigma average are applied force so how we can calculate this k for 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 finding this or finding stress concentration factor stress concentration factor k we will need 2 r 2 into r divided by d now what is r R is the radius of this hole A and D is the width of this plate. So we will put the value 2 into R is equal to 1 by 4 that we have calculated over here. Clear. And this D is 3 inch. Clear. So when you put it you will get the 2R divided by D is equal to 0 0.1667. Now we will use this value in order to find k how you will use this value so for that to find k we will use 
फिगर टू पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो ए इन बुक्स मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटीरियल बाई बेर एंड जॉनसन लेट मी शो यू दिस वैल्यू रिमेंबर दिस इज जीरो पॉइंट वन सिक्स सिक्स सो आई अगेन यू कैन सी दिस इज टू पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो ए एंड हेयर यू कैन सी दैट द वैल्यू ऑफ टू आर बाई डी विच इज वन पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट वन सिक्स सिक्स क्लियर सो जीरो पॉइंट वन सिक्स सिक्स विल बी समवट हेयर क्लियर सो इफ आई क्रॉस इट इफ आई मेक अ परपेंडिकुलर लाइन एंड देन ऑन हॉरिजेंटल एज वेल सो दिस वैल्यू विल बी आवर के वैल्यू एंड दिस कम्स आउट टू बी टू पॉइंट फाइव सिक्स टू अप्रॉक्सीमेटली टू पॉइंट फाइव सिक्स सो आई विल राइट आई विल गो बैक अगेन इन आर्डर टू राइट इट सो फ्रॉम के इज इक्वल टू टू पॉइंट फाइव सिक्स ओके नाउ वी नो दैट मैक्सिमम के इज इक्वल टू मैक्सिमम स्ट्रेस डिवाइड बाय सिग्मा एवरेज क्लियर सो implies that this sigma stress is equal to k into average okay now we know that uh, this sigma max is equal to k average is applied load which is p max p divided by net area because stress is equal to p divided by a i have right over here so k is equal uh, sigma max is equal to k into p divided by a okay now we are interested in find out the value of p because it is given that to find out this centric load p so here we will get this p is equal to sigma max into net area divided by k okay also we have been given the maximum stress that is allowable stress in our this problem you can see the given data so we have 16 ksi so 16 into net area is 1.25 which is given over here so 16 into 1.25 divided by k which we have obtained from this graph 2.56 so if you calculate it you will get the load comes out to be 7. Eight one kips. So this is this load is for whole A. Now we will move for another our second part. I will just write it over here for second part that is at whole B. So again we have to follow the same procedure. You have to get R. and you know that diameter is 1 1 by 2 which is 1.5 so 1.5 divided by 2 will be its radius so it will be 0.75 0.75 okay now what will be the d for this so d for this will be this portion and this portion which is again equal to capital d minus diameter of whole b which is 1.5 So three minus one point five is again equal to this small d comes out to be one point five inch. Here this is also an inch. Also the net area for whole b comes out to be small d into thickness. So this is thickness and this is small d. If you subtract the diameter from this d, you will get this small d. Okay, so small d is one point five inch. and thickness is 0.5 which again give you this net area comes out to be this net area comes out to be 0.75 square inch now you have this net area again we know that maximum stress is equal to k into average this is the same formula which i have written over here so we do not know k for k we need 2r over d so put the value 2 into r is 0.75 for whole b divided by 3 which is equal to 0.5 so then k is equal to using figure 2.60a we will show 
you that k is equal to for 0 0.5 so you can see this is 0 0.5 so if i uh, project that clear let me choose the annotation so 0 0.5 this is the point clear and if you project it horizontally it will be somewhat closer to 2.22 means this comes out to be 2.16 clear which is a pro uh, equal to 2. Point, near to 2.22 so k values comes out to be 2.16 now you have this k value clear you can find this sigma max is equal to k into sigma average is p divided by net area for whole b clear so p is equal to sigma max into a net for whole b divided by k so you have to put the value sigma max is again given as 16 ksi so 16 and net area which here here is 0 0.75 so 0 0.75 divided by k which is 2.16 okay now you have the load p comes out to be 5.56 kips but that is for whole b now you can see now you have two loads you have two loads one is this p is equal to 7.81 kips but that is calculated based for small hole and other one is p is equal to and p is equal to 5.56 kips so you have to choose one one of the load so you have what you will do is you have to choose smaller value for p controls so your answer is p is equal to 5.56 kips so this is the answer why you have to choose the smallest because if you select the largest one that may cause that may exceed the stress in this in this hole clear so you have to choose the smallest one in order to get your uh, desired load or uh, stress allowable stress that may not exceed 16 ksi i hope you have enjoyed the video thank you for watching and supporting me